Okay, I'd like to demonstrate an issue with the SVG export in FreeCAD. The Platin scalable vector graphics files appear to be fairly inconsistent between different parts and it doesn't seem to correlate with anything related to the file having good constraints or the shape necessarily being significantly different. Um, I think I'll go with an example of the track link since that is one that I'm having a major problem with. Track link appears fine. Let's get rid of that. Uh, the view, let's make sure, let's see ortho view front. So go to the draft workbench, 2D view. Oh, I forgot to select the part. Got to select the part. I don't think that worked, did it? Oh, it did. because it's there. Let's try that again just to make sure doing that correctly. Okay, let's just hide the part. Go to the top view. So, we have the 2D shape and I'm going to export it again just to demonstrate. a flattened SVG. That's important. We'll just put this track link oh, test. Yeah. Place that just to show. Everything looks okay in this view as far as the circles and the lines. Lines look good. But When we go to the actual SVG, open that with Inkscape, we see here that it only has the outline. And I'm hoping this outline is good. I haven't tested this in SVG Nest yet. It does have to be continuous. The lines, and I hope these, these do look a lot better than the ones from the drawing bench. But no, no holes. Uh, trying to export that. It just does not seem to vary anything I do to fix that. So, also, I exported the idler mount plate. Uh, and in this case, I get, well, oh, maybe I thought I was getting nothing, but actually I am getting the outline as out well with no, there are holes in the actual mount plate, uh, large and too small, and they do not show up at all. So that is would be similar to the track link. The motor, no, this is the drive, yeah, drive motor mount plate shows up differently again with these, with the gray infill for the holes. Obviously, I don't know if that would actually affect um, translation or nesting or translation back, to, back into a DXF if that's necessary. The only part that seems to show up or convert to a flattened scalable vector graphic correctly is this PTO motor part. It's the PTO motor mount plate. We get good, good lines Everything there looks okay on that part. And actually that part comes from a part that's not even fully constrained yet. So it's not something translating over 
relation to the original sketch. Maybe the the pads. Uh, see no reason for those to be significantly flawed, other than that there would be flaws from the sketch. But the only part that seems to come out right is the one with the pad generated from an unconstrained sketch. So that does not correlate. Um, the previous drawing and dimensioning exports, of course, come out like this, which is a problem. And this one might be continuous because it's round, but I'm not sure. The others fail to operate uh, under the nesting algorithm, including, from what I can tell, the trackpad because Apparently the lines in the XML are not continuous or <coughs> able to be correctly read by SVG Nest at all. I have a few different examples there. We don't need to look at all these, but you know, just simple, simple parts. But uh, some of those you'd think would be continuous and fine, and it, also have the bin sheet. I'll show that the, the, the scaling on these did not seem to be consistent either. Was the other problem? So it doesn't work from the drawing bench. So uh, not making sense to me right now. Uh, if anyone has any ideas why the 2D view is not exporting through the flattened SVG export correctly. Uh, leave a message. On the wiki at Open Source Ecology or uh, on the YouTube video. Be great.